Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another software update video for our white Model 3. Let's jump right in and check it out. Bye bye, red Model 3. Huge thank you goes out to our Grandma Tool, Nicola Pro, and Drone Quote supporting this channel at the All Electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. All right, let's check and see what is new with these release notes. Speed imp assist improvements. In addition to local roads, speed assist now leverages your car's camera to detect speed limit signs to improve the accuracy of speed limit data for highways. As usual, to adjust speed assist settings, tap controls, autopilot and speed limit priority bluetooth device to avoid connecting to the wrong nearby phone you can set your priority bluetooth device your car will attempt to connect to the priority bluetooth device associated with the profile selected so that means if my profile selected versus my wife's profile you can have a different priority bluetooth device or phone right so like every time it's under my driver profile it has a different phone that is the priority Bluetooth device. Really great. Glove box pin. Protect your valuables. You can set a four digit pin. Let's jump right in. First, let's go to controls, autopilot, and speed limit to check that out. Now let's go into the Bluetooth settings and we see we have a couple phones here. So I'm going to select this all electric phone and I can make that the priority device. So I'm gonna do that. So we have a little star that's gonna end up right here next to the phone now. So that is gonna be attempted to connect to first before any other of the devices. So really like how they added that there. Now if we click here, we can then set to this to priority device and the little star is gonna move. Really nice to be able to select the priority device. Great job, Tesla. Another great improvement without buying a new car and you just have a car that constantly gets improved. So right now, if you hit the glove box button, what's gonna happen is the glove box is just gonna open right up. So if we close this glove box, safety and security, and here's our option for glove box pin. So let's turn that on. Now we can create a four digit pin. Okay, so glove box pin is on. Now let's go back and try to click on the glove box and it's gonna ask us for our four digit pin. But here, if you forgot your PIN, you can enter your Tesla account credentials. So the same Tesla account credentials that are with this car, you can enter that in. But since we know the PIN, once we enter that, now it's open. Now I already don't like how you have to come in here to press to get the glove box to open, so I'm actually gonna turn that PIN off. And to turn that off, you need to now press the PIN again. Now that's turned off, you can see the settings turned off. While I got you guys here, I wanna talk about Jada's new wireless charger and a giveaway. I'm giving away the version two because they sent me the version three, which I'm gonna be showing to you guys. So this version two had these little slots here at the bottom, which was designed to have the cord. So if you had a plug-in phone like I do still, uh, you could still use the wireless charger with a plug-in phone or a phone that supports wireless charging. So here is also the hub. They have a new hub that has an additional USB type A, I believe, port. So now you have three of those and then two USB C's versus the version two hub only has two and two. So I will be giving away the version two wireless charger and hub. And if you want to win that, just leave a comment down below saying all electric, I want to win. So here we can open up, it has the exact same cover. You can see I'm gonna take out my pure Tesla solid state drive that I use for the dash cam and sentry mode and I'm gonna put that in the version three. Covers going back on the version two along with that cord that you guys are gonna need, whoever the lucky winner is. Again, all that you need to do to win this Jada version two hub and charger is comment on the video below saying all electric, I want to win. So that's going to get you the version 2 wireless charger and the version 2 hub. Now installing the version 3 hub into my car was super easy just like the version 2. You can see I have the pure Tesla solid state drive which automatically synced right up and I saw the dash cam viewer pop back up as soon as I plugged in the hub. 
So I plug in my wired phone and now I'm plugging in the two micro USBs into the back of the Jada wireless charger version three and those are going to support the wireless charger. I do have another phone that uses a wireless charger. So once I get that set in there all the way, I do keep the Jada spacer in there. So make sure you guys get a spacer if you plan on plugging in a wired phone. And then I put my cover back on and you can see it's so much easier versus the version two. The version three is so much easier to plug in and unplug a wired phone. So great job by Jada improving their design. And if you wanna pick up one of these version three hubs or wireless chargers, I'm gonna have a referral link down below. All right guys, just a real quick video showing you some of the new features in this newest update, but be sure to keep it locked here to this channel because I am gonna be running this autopilot software through my usual test, the Curvy Country Road test. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.